ओके सो वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन योर पीडिया एजुकेशन एंड यू आर वाचिंग द रेगुलर अपडेट्स रिलेटेड टू वेरियस रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर यू नो एडमिशन इन टू वेरियस इंस्टीट्यूट इन इंडिया इंक्लूडिंग आई आई एंड माई दिस वीडियो इज रिलेटेड टू आई आई हैदराबाद एंड द यू नो डिस्कशन इज रेलिवेंट फॉर अदर आई आई इन आई हैदराबाद वेन यू आर फिलिंग द फॉर्म्स दे आर आस्किंग फॉर something which is called portfolio normally portfolio is for organizations institutions but you know it is being used as you know another name of your academic cv you have cv you have resume you have portfolios and uh, there is academic cv also there is a right way to make there is a wrong way to make that what are the ingredients in your portfolio i'm going to discuss about that you know when it is academic cv or portfolio you should see that for what purpose you are making it are you making it for the job are you making it for higher education abroad or are you making it for research programs in iits and for that matter ms phd or what course and your entire background should be reflected in that direction for example if you are applying for ms phd courses then your research experience should be reflected i am not interested in your strength weakness your you know personality skills i am not interested in that i am interested in what research papers you have what publications you have what is internship you have done what how many projects you have done what are the subjects which are of interest to you your interest areas what are your software skills matlab python c++ what do you know i am interested in that if i am making a portfolio or cv for management institute i am more interested to know what domain of management would you like to work in and what are your managerial skills have you taken any jobs of responsibility what are your extra curricular activities i am more interested in that whenever you are applying for job i am more interested to know your skills for the job so these are couple of things which you need to consider okay so now before i start telling you in detail about uh, how it is to be made Uh, as your pda has uh, you know uh, told you that we will correct your cvs and portfolios and send back to you let me provide you mail id at which you can send your cvs after you make uh, the way it is shown to you if you make this cvs academic cvs and portfolio this is the mail id on which you can send this is uh, your pda cv your pda cv at gmail.com your pdf cv at gmail.com and i think this is all small letters your pdf cv at gmail.com all of you can send on this mail id and let me tell you those who are registered student of your pdf they will not send on this they already have got the mail id of their respective mentors but those who are already a students not registered with your pdf still want to take the services please send your cv on this and we'll revert back to you your pdf cv at gmail.com you know academic cvs and ingredients i've taken points from here and there of my students and putting you things in that order when you start making your portfolio yes you can make your photograph you can give your photograph on that along with your photograph you can mention your details and everything there is always one objective statement what is the objective why you want to do this particular course what is the main reason you are you know pursuing uh, planning to pursue this course my career objective can be to pursue a purposeful research career in some premium institutes after completion of my masters or phd i want to acquire more skill and knowledge by pursuing higher education course so that i am in position to solve real world problems that is career objective reflects why you are doing ms and phd what are your academic interest suppose you are applying in one department and in that it is a control system maybe you can elaborate it a little more academic interest supply chain management is your academic interest rapid prototyping is your academic interest so where you are academically or you want to learn more that is your academic interest i should know that that is also part of your portfolio then entire your academic background it can be written academic background or something 
you know uh, the year passing m tech at the top then b tech then 10th then 12th you should go in that order so the latest degree should be at the top the institution cgp or percentage something like that you have to mention that is i think more or less complete in itself that is how you have to reflect it so those of you who have done diploma they can mention diploma also year also so it has to be in the descending order latest has should be come at the first and then followed by second something like that if you have only done btech you can mention about the btech also now projects duration of the project is very important title of the project is very important and where you done that project that is also very important so i have done this project in indian institute of technology rudki this was the topic of my project and then little bit about this topic what was this topic all about so little bit about that topic that is a part of your portfolio and portfolio is a sort of chart you know cv and resume is like a paper sheet portfolio is like a chart when you make a chart for presentation presentation poster that is like portfolio it can be colored it can be anything so it is a designing part is there in your portfolio where there should be more focus even on you know diagrams or uh, tables or charts something like that on um, the typical portfolio of the organization can be reflected like this this is a pie chart right this is a pie chart so typical portfolio may represent like this is you know 40% 30% 20% something like that so typical portfolio has diagrams charts tables and all it is a colorful presentation of what you are actually but in this case it is not the of the organization this is of the individual so in the same way project one project btech and mtech or main, main, major, major project minor project you can represent something like that so title institute title and year that should be reflected in that position or responsibilities and extra curricular many students are confused what is extra curricular what we should reflect you know you should tell what is the position or responsibility or what you have done what extra curricular activities you have done maybe it can be you know some kind of sports it can be some kind of other activity it can be social activity it can be cultural activity it can be you know some workshop which you have conducted so extra curricular other than exams and books and labs and classes what you have done sir i participated in conference i participated in the sports i participated in culture everything year when you mark date when you mark it gives authenticity to whatever you have done it gives authenticity if your class representative if you were class representative year 2020 to 2021 20 uh, uh, you know 2018 2018 2021 year it gives authenticity for many of these things you do not have certificates whatever extra curricular activities you have done you may not be having some kind of certificate so even then you can mention that like you participated in marathon maybe you are not having the certificate for that but still you can mention that relevant course work so whatever domain you want to apply what is the relevant course work you have done you are applying for energy science you are applying for smart mobility you are electronic engineer for the smart mobility as electronic engineer go to the website of iit hyderabad go to the website go to the curriculum part of smart mobility see as electronic engineer what subjects you are going to study go through those subjects and these are the relevant course work for you immediately in the interview professor will see okay he is electronic engineer he wants to join energy science department and this is what he has done these are the related subjects i am mechanical engineer i want to apply in aerospace department what are relevant subjects thermodynamics heat transfer fluid mechanics if i am applying in thermal domain that is a relevant subject research interest what is your research interest which area you would like to work that is a typical work of the professor which professor is doing research interest do you have some research experience that can also mention many of you are doing you know uh, project research assistantship project assistantship that is a relevant research experience that also you can mention it may be you know like september july to september sorry 
September 2020, July 2022. Maybe you have done some, then you can it can be mentioned. Master's thesis and graduation thesis, undergraduate thesis, your project work, project thesis, name and what you have done. Many students say, sir, how should we write it? My answer is, it is very good if you write in the form of points. Title can be written in the bold, but then details can be written in the point form. That is very good. It should be done like that. So what I studied, I did comparative studies, I designed, I developed, I made comparative analysis. So all these things should be reflected. The moment I see it, I should know what your role in that is and make points. Points actually reflect that you have done a couple of things there. Dates should be there. Certification. What kind of certification should I reflect? I have got internet of things at this College of Engineering Kerala. That may be a certification with you. And when it is a certification, you should have that certificate. Any kind of certification course which you have done or any certification you have. Academic certification obviously. He is not talking about 10th certificate, 12th certificate, graduation certificate. He is not asking about that. He is asking have you done some certification. Obviously 10th, 12th and degree certificate you have. But have you done any other certification? Something like this. Scholarship. Gate scholarship is also one of the scholarship. Any other scholarship you have got that can also be written. And when he says skills, this is a software skills. These are your software skills. So whatever software skills you have acquired. And last comes publication. And if you have publication, you need to mention. Sir, what should I mention in publication? You always know that publication ko likhne ka, there is a way. You write the name, first author, second author, title, then the name of the journal, then you know the number and then year. This is the way it is written and you should write in that particular way. Then you can always give references, you know, whatever you have written, if you provide references, doctor this and this, assistant professor, mail ID this. And if you give the references, it gives more credibility to what you have done. So that also is there. Now typically portfolio can be, I told you, like a poster. It can be, it should be designed like a poster. Photo, names, you know, and all these things and then skill on this side, work experience on that side. So whatever you want to write, content I told you. Now all that content should be very beautifully designed. That is called portfolio. This is how it has to be. And I am not much interested in your, in your interest, hobbies, strength, weaknesses, normally. But if you want to add, it can be added also. Internships. So, where you have done your internship, dates till when you have done your internship and where you have done, what was the location, what was the duration, what was the description, domain, location, duration, description, something like that. So, it should be reflected like this, point form and very clearly defined. Internship, where you have done. Projects. If you have done couple of projects, I did in May 2020, July 2019. September. So, latest project at the top followed by other projects. BTEC project and then you have made some kind of you know title, domain, description. What is the domain? What is the description? Do you have technical skills and what are your positions of responsibility? Whatever you write, they may ask you in the interview. What are the achievements? You know, if you have scored some gate, all India rank, that is achievement. Best BTEC project, that is achievement. J advance, that is achievement. Secured 8th eight, merit in this achievement. Qualified for some scholarship, that is achievement. So he is asking you about academic achievement, curricular achievement, extracurricular achievement, all the achievements. You can mention 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That way you can mention the achievements. So what courses did you take during your engineering? Some of the relevant courses studied. We have already discussed that. Personal information you can mention like this or at the top also you can mention those details. Technical skills and certification, it can be written in this particular format. And if you have some industrial exposure, industrial trip, industrial tour, you can mention about that. Now whatever I have given you, just on the basis of that, make a really good, you know, uh, really good uh, 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 this uh, for you, uh, some very nice, uh, you know, uh, portfolio for you and you can send you can mail that portfolio to your PDA team your PDA team will go through your CVs and try to make you know try to give a good shape to that or maybe suggest to you something like that and uh, try to provide 
you know good uh, make uh, put a lot of effort on that and whenever you mail it to uh, the mail account which is given to you we'll provide you the mail account whenever you mail it to us please mail the word document not the pdf may mail the word document so that we can uh, correct it and provide you some changes so uh, there are two mail account the mail account which is provided to you that will be basically used for this purpose only that is for uh, your pdf cv at gmail.com let me give you the mail id for that this is uh, i think this is the mail id which i want to provide you your pdf all small letters cv your pdf cv at gmail.com so send your cv to this mail account the team will check it and revert back to you provide the you back this particular your cv so your pdf all small letters your pdf cv at gmail.com send it to us maybe we correct it and send you back this particular thing uh, this is for those students who are not registered with your pdf those who are registered with your pdf they already have got the mail id on which they are to send their cv so just keep that in mind and this is what you have to provide so just prepare it and send it to us now thank you